What's up guys, Kudokun here. Today we're going to finally get on to May's live Q&A. Uh, I'm supposed to be doing this at the beginning of the month, and I didn't. <laughs> so, don't worry, it's probably the only time I'll ever say I'm going to release something and then not actually release it on the date that I said I would release it. So, I guess to get started, let's talk about uh, card games. Honestly, there's not that many updates this time, so this should be a relatively short video, I'm hoping. So, as far as card games go, uh, we already know that this month's set is Gurren Lagan. I've already got a deck ready that I'm ready to talk about. Um, I'm working on the trial deck review right now. Even though I'm not 100% sure I want to do a trial deck review, uh, because there are three Gurren Lagan decks I want to talk about, but we'll see how that goes. The plan right now is, of course, a trial deck, um, probably a blue anti-spiral deck, and then a sort of more meta-y uh, yellow probably yellow red I'm feeling yellow red is probably good for it so that's what's going on on the Gurren Lagan front I've also got uh, somebody asking me to do a fate of Crofia Apocrypha Apocrypha Apo... the new fate set somebody asked me to cover the new fate set and I'm wondering whether I should just do that as a small one-off thing this month or whether we should add it to the polls and maybe do it next month as like a full month-long thing like we are with the other couple of sets so whatever your thoughts on that are leave them in the comment section below as always on the video game front uh things with the 3ds capture aren't working the way i want them to snicker stream and kitkat are both failing me kitkat for whatever reason will not open on my computer and snicker stream crashes i guess uh, it, like it starts and then stops like 10 or so seconds after it starts and it's so laggy I really couldn't capture anything anyway so what can you do that kind of shoots my uh, detective Pikachu review in the foot because I really wanted to get some footage to do that review we'll have to see what happens there but uh, all of my plans involving 3ds stuff is kind of on the back burner right now because I can't believe I can capture 1080 HD quality stuff on my ps4 and my switch and yet, my 3DS, the one system I cannot get any good footage for, is my stupid 3DS. It's so dumb, guys. And I really... Like, they sell, like, capture cards and stuff for these things, but man, I really... I don't want to do it. It's like $500, and you have to send it off to somebody to have them do it. Like, they're going to take one look at my stupid busted up 3DS and throw it away, so... I really don't want. I really don't want to have to go through that. So, 3DS stuff, the mainly that which was the stuff I was working on, is kind of out right now. What I'd like to move on to are some Switch reviews. I've gotten quite a lot of Switch games, as you guys probably saw in my uh, in my thing. Like, I think I'm nearly at about 20 games or so. So, I'd like to talk about them a bit more. There are some games that have really been impressing me lately. Like, uh, I I want to get something out about Attack on Titan 2, because if you guys have never checked out Attack on Titan 2, it's mwah, it's actually a really good game. Uh, if you don't have any idea what it is, imagine playing a Spider-Man game with swords. You're welcome. Also, I know somebody's going to ask me about the Nintendo Labo stuff, because uh, I, I had a couple of people ask me about that on Skype. Um, <laughs> It's taking a lot longer than I was expecting it to. See, I thought I was going to sit down and build everything in like five, maybe six hours, and then I'd have a review out that weekend. No. No. No, it's it's gonna take it's gonna take like 13 hours to get everything built. I still have one thing in the variety pack that I haven't built yet, and I haven't even touched the robot suit thing yet. Um... I am still planning something for it. I've got to work uh, this Sunday, but if I can get everything built by Saturday, then I'll get up early and I'll see if I can get something recorded. No promises, of course, because I don't know what's going to happen, but that is still sort of on the top of my Switch review list because I want to get it out as early as possible. Last thing we'll really talk about are the streams. Um, the thing is, I want to do more streams, but... I really haven't figured out a good time frame to do them because I've got to pick a time where I'm available and there's also a small audience available. I, I When I say small audience, I mean like at least five people. 
Um, usually when I stream at a really weird time, like, uh, 4 o'clock, not 4 o'clock, sorry, <laughs> normally when I stream at a weird time, like, uh, like 8 o'clock or so at night, I don't really get any viewers, and that's, you know, if I'm just gonna, if I'm just gonna be performing for, like, one person, it feels a little awkward, it makes it a little awkward on both of us, so, honestly, I'd like to find a time where I can stream video games and, uh, actually you know get some people to interact with and stuff so it's not so weird and i'd also like to do it on twitch more but we'll have to figure that out too honestly that's what's going on with like video game streams and stuff is just i haven't figured out out i haven't figured out nailed it i haven't figured out a good time to do it yet but um i am really trying to get some video game streams out there so if that's something you're interested in Stay tuned. One other thing on streaming I want to talk about, though, is... So I know the Japanese stuff seems like it kind of died, and it kind of did. Um, I knew that the Japanese stuff wasn't going to go over super well, but um, it actually surprised me with how, with how little people were actually interested in it. Normally my videos at least get about 100 or so views, which I'm very thankful for. Thank you all so much for watching. Um, even my update videos like this normally get about 100 views, but... Those videos, they 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 got like 40 views. <laughs> it really caught me off guard, so I decided to go ahead and put that down for right now until I get a little bit bigger. But if you are still interested in the Japanese learning stuff, um, I'm trying to get stuff ready to do uh, Japanese live streams where I go on and I translate something. Like uh, maybe take some manga pages or whatever and we practice translating them live. And then if you're interested in learning, I can maybe bring you on and you can ask some questions or, uh, you know, if you're interested in learning, then uh, it would pretty much be an open place where people could ask me questions and learn a bit more about the language. Again, I'm going to stress here, I am not proficient in the language at all. Um, I, I have... Right, right there. I'm a uh, intermediate, intermediate three. That's that's me. I am I am not fluent, but uh, I do know enough that if you have any questions or if you're looking for a way to get into the language, I could probably help you. So that's it for the updates. If that's all you're here for, then you you got it. You got it, my boy. I'll see you on the next video. But. Uh, we've also got a few questions I'm going to take here, and we will get onto those now. Kudokun, who is your favorite anime boy and girl? So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and just answer both of these, right? So, for anime boy, my favorite anime character of all time, bar none, hands down, is Edward Elric. And I know that's kind of a, uh, a very regular answer to give because Full Metal Alchemist is so popular, but gosh darn it, man. Edward Elric is perfect. He's He's got this adorable little short complex, and he's funny, and he's strong, and his alchemy power thing is so freaking cool. I love Edward Elric to death. In, in my eyes, Edward Elric is everything I've ever wanted in an anime character, so that is my favorite anime boy. Now, as far as girl goes... I mean, I really hate to be vanilla here, and uh, I'm probably just going to give a very obvious answer, but um, Haruhi Suzumi is my favorite anime girl. I know I know people don't like Haruhi, and I know people don't really like uh, the melancholy of Haruhi Suzumiya, but I don't know. Man. Haruhi is like that person that I wish I knew growing up. Uh, I feel like Haruhi actually left an impact on me because growing up, I always wanted somebody who was ambitious and wanted to go out and discover stuff and have fun, and I never really did. Everybody I knew was really chill, so when I got a little bit older, instead of waiting for a Haruhi to show up, I sort of became my own Haruhi, so whenever I get to know somebody, I um, I always try to go out of my way to like make things as interesting as possible for as long as possible, so... I'd have to say that Haruhi is my favorite anime girl. Like, she's she's perfect in my eyes. She's got everything that I've ever wanted in a friend, and she's everything I've ever wanted to be. What is your favorite Disney movie and why? Bar none, my favorite Disney movie of all time is still Aladdin. Aladdin has a beautiful world. It's got a great storyline. The main character is just He's so awesome. Aladdin himself, just as a character, is great. The voice actor is perfect, and the actual character itself is just... it's glorious. Like, I, I'm not gay, but I'm just, just saying. He's a good-looking dude. It's got 
like the smartest ending because it ends with the hero actually outsmarting the villain. And uh, let's let's not pretend that Jasmine isn't the best Disney princess, okay? You're allowed to not think Jasmine is the best Disney princess, just like you're allowed to be wrong about anything. If you don't think Jasmine is the best Disney princess, you're wrong. End of discussion. I don't want to hear any comments about it. She's the best Disney princess. That's it. If you were a furry, what would your persona be? <laughs> I don't know, dude. I mean, I guess if I had to pick, my favorite animal is a wolf. But wolves are really overdone. Like, I, I think ideally I would want it to be a wolf, but I'd probably try at least to pick something a little more interesting. Probably a mouse. Like, there aren't that many mice in the furry community, so I think that'd be a pretty unique thing that would uh, help me stand out. And mice are adorable, so... Mouse. <laughs> Kudo-kun's fursona is a mouse, and now you can't unknow that. What is your least favorite card game? So this is going to shock some of you guys. It's actually legitimately going to shock a lot of you. But my least favorite card game starts with a D. It's the Detective Conan. The case closed card game is the worst failure of a card game that I have ever had the displeasure of actually playing. I'm going to describe this game for you, and you're going to think it sounds amazing. You're wrong. <laughs> Trust me. Okay, I love Case Closed. You all know this. My name is Kudo. I stole the name of the main character from my YouTube channel, and it's what I get called all the time. So you would think that, oh, the Case Closed card game came out. Kudo probably thinks it's the best thing ever. It's not. It sucks. It sucks a lot. So, essentially, the way this works is it's meant to be a multiplayer card game, so you can get three, four, five people in a circle to play this, and uh, there's, like, a card laid out that's kind of like a problem from MLP, and you have to solve it by getting evidence cards, and the way it actually works is every player takes their phases at the same time. So it's like, I have a draw phase, you have a draw phase, and then I have a standby phase, you have a standby phase, main phase, your main phase, attack phase, your attack phase, end phase, your end phase, and then uh, it sort of moves in a circle like this. Like, one player has priority, and that player is the one who gets to do their phase first, but then they stop their turn, and the next player goes, and then until, uh, until every player has taken their phase, the turn itself doesn't continue, which sounds really unique and it sounds like it could lead to a pretty interesting card game but the game is so clunky it's not fun i've never once had a game of case closed where i was like oh man that was so much fun i can't wait to play another one every single time i've played the case closed card game all i could think is i just want to play something else i don't want to do this anymore it's so bad which trust me kills me <laughs> okay it kills me how bad the game is and i'm sure i'll talk about it at some point oh man are my eyes getting red man those were almost real tears do you guys see that i'm an acting genius would you ever consider doing an interactive stream with subscribers like a party game or something i am not opposed to that idea but it would have to be more specific I, honestly, I don't really mind doing anything with the subscribers, but um, I don't... I think this goes back to the whole not having a good time to do, like, a game stream thing. It, it's an interesting idea. I definitely wouldn't mind doing it, uh, involving subscribers in the streams a bit more. Uh, I just need to get something solid down first, you know? Like, I've always sort of played around with the idea of maybe doing, like, an RPG or like a Pokemon game or something, and then using subscribers or uh, people in the chat to name the characters in the RPG. That might be kind of fun. I wouldn't mind doing something more interactive, like uh, playing an actual party game. There's this game called 100% OJ that I've been really interested in, and maybe if I could get some of the subscribers to go and get that game, that would be a pretty funny thing to play, but 
I don't know. That's something interesting to talk about, though. If you know of a party game that would work for a stream, or if you're interested in something like that, comments. 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 But anyways, it looks like that's all we have for today. I said this is going to be a short one. It looks like we're going on, like... <laughs> I've been recording for nearly 20 minutes. I don't know how long the video is going to be, but it's probably going to be at least 10 minutes. So thank you so much for sticking with me. If you enjoyed the video, likes are really appreciated. Uh, comments, of course. Leave in the comments below if there are any card games that I've covered in the past that you'd like to see more coverage for. And also, if you would like to get more into video game streams or doing interactive stuff, then let me know in the comments below. But as always, thank you so much for stopping by, and I will see you guys next time.